What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another highly combustible reaction. We're gonna be jumping into the next one on our eyeboard journey. This is falling free. I'm like 90% sure this is the same eyeboard as the last eyeboard that we've done because how many people are named Ivor? Uh, the last one I think was Ivor Pal's daughter. I think it's somehow someone told me to say it. And then this one just says Ivor, but we'll find out. Maybe it's the same thing. Maybe I'm absolutely crazy and they're different. This is uh, Falling Free live at the old theater in Torshaw. That sounds like a crazy place. I need to go to this place. It sounds very like a very historic place. Uh, this one's brought to us via donation from Miss Julie. Julie, 100% appreciate that. I'm excited for this. Let's jump back in. Let's take a look. And I'll tell you if it's the same one. Because the last Ivor that we saw uh, felt like she was calling for the Loch Ness Monster from the lake. It was a very, very magical moment. Let's check this out. Let's go. Falling free. Legit, this I think that this I think it's the same Ivor because this lady is very magical. Like something about her voice, the way that reverb kicks in, it just like smacks you in the brain. I'm 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 a fan, like already. We're not we're only seconds into this. Let's go. I Chills. comes that drum. These are some very deeply lyrics. I've searched the mountains and across the seas. And I've looked for you in every part of me. Like, that's super deep. There's a lot of longing and desire right here in this song. This is a very, very passionate, like, super, super passionate song. Definitely some feelings went into the lyrics. 100%. Let's go. Shit. 
have it or give it all to me. Look, here's Hailey's two cents so far, thus far, and beautiful, 100% beautiful. Uh, I love everything about this. The feel, the way that it was shot, these lasers, the fact that she has this machine in her hand that we know can make ridiculously hard and like borderline sinful music you know what i mean like that music they're like whoa i don't even know if i should be listening to music this hard but she's playing something very beautiful with it she's holding back that machine's true potential and i like that she's able to limit it like that and keep it beautiful even though you know it's a machine that's meant to slay your eardrums like this is whole thing her vocals are next. She's otherworldly, for real. Like, she's some sort of a elemental temptress. I don't know. Something's going on with that magical-ass voice. And it really does. It gets into your soul. Some deep, deep lyrics that a lot of people are going to be able to, to relate with. You saw a lot of people out there have that somebody who's that somebody and only that somebody forever. Like, that's their one somebody. And, yo, my respect for you for that. Like, if you... If you're, if you're in that discipline type relationship with that kind of person, and that's how you both feel, and you're both like super magnetic, that's beautiful. Like, I want to be one of those old people that has an old person sitting next to me that I've been together with forever. I think cute old couples that have been together for 70, 80, 90 years are like the cutest thing in the world, and they're a lot, lot harder to come by nowadays, unfortunately. But... There's a lot of people that know what it's like to be in this kind of love. This is beautiful. Let's go. This is 100,000% the same Ivor that we did before. I'm sure of it. When she got to this little chanting, this is the same music right here, the chanting. We saw her with the drum, and she was like in the middle of the open nothingness with just a few people there, and there was like the beautiful backdrop of a lake behind her. I'm telling you, once she got to these vocals, that's how I know. It's got to be the same one. Definitely have to check out more of this because this you got that my hair standing up the whole way through. If it's not, you're not feeling that vibe. Crank it up a little bit. Let's go. Yeah. This might be legitimately the most entranced audience and unmoving audience that I've ever seen in my life. 
like see it's being there is just as magical more way more magical than it is just us sitting here watching it through this screen it's like look at them all they're just standing there like in awe of what's happening right now and what is taking place around She's another siren. Indeed, indeed. Beautiful, beautiful performances. Make sure we're not going to miss anything right here at the end. She definitely deserves that applause because that was magical. Her vocals are phenomenal. The band was great. Like the whole thing was just an experience. It was one of those like captivating and if you don't believe in hypnosis, like watch some of these videos and you'll get hypnotized just like that crowd was hypnotized. I really, really actually enjoyed this falling free. I'm going to have to check out more from this little old theater because this looks like a very, very magical concert. Um, Ivor fans, y'all know what to do. Hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what we're doing next. Keep them coming. I'm, I'm still, I'm still like fairly certain it's the same Ivor. But if I am wrong, you guys correct me down there by all means. Uh, if you liked the content, hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button. Check out one of my other videos floating around up here. Subscribe right here if you want to see more content, possibly your content. And to join the greatest YouTube uh, family in history. Until the next one, I'm highly combustible. You guys be happy, healthy, safe. Love you to the moon and back. Peace.